Welcome back to the channel Grand Columbia and this is the weekly update. Uh, I'm going to be looking at my notes here. A lot went on this week. Um, I was asked a particular question and I decided to actually explore it because it was it was a personal question and I wanted to uh, give it a lot of thought you know, for myself as well as to answer the question and so I've made a video that'll be up possibly today, probably tomorrow, uh, but I'm going to be putting it on my, because it is personal, it has very little, if anything, to do with uh, Colombia or Ecuador. I'm going to put it on my personal channel, and I'm also going to put it up on my podcast. I think it's an important topic, and it's something that through my life I hadn't really thought about, but I think you're going to find it interesting. So if you like personal per perspective on things, then you're going to want to see it and you or listen to the podcast. If you have no interest in that, then I warn you now, don't bother going to the personal channel. Uh, where are those things? Well, you can find them on the website, of course, uh, GrandColumbia.live. But I'll put the links down below. But if you watch this before I've actually posted that up, uh, it won't be there yet. <laughs> so... Um, you know, it'll be probably, I'm thinking probably tomorrow. I'm pretty busy today. Actually, I'm busy for the next four or five days. And come to think of it, even beyond that. <laughs> uh, this week was mostly about the license. Now, I told you that I had been ill. It took me quite a while to get some energy back. And I'm still not completely there, but I'm healthy. I'm doing well. Uh, but... It didn't stop me from proceeding to uh, finish taking the uh, tests. Uh, I did the driving test, for example, and I passed that. I've got uh, some good things to, or some interesting things to talk about with that, how that went, what it entailed. And um, I've actually, it's going to be quite a video because I ran into probably about every negative experience you could yeah seriously it was uh it was a week when i didn't need all that extra effort but it was there anyway so you know you just put your head down and tough through it uh, for one example I, on my one trip to transito i ended up standing in line for four hours now this was when i still wasn't feeling fully recovered. <laughs> so standing for four hours was not the most fun thing in the world. Actually, a lot of people around me just sat down on the concrete, but I couldn't bring myself to do that. So I just would lean against the wall. Everything is finally done when it comes to the license, with the exception of actually getting my license. Now I have to return to Transito Tuesday and I'll receive my license. I think I've hit probably every roadblock you could hit and overcome them. Made lots of trips back and forth. Spent way too much money in taxis. Uh, but but uh, we'll save that for the driving video. Or maybe I'll even talk about it a little on coffee time coming up. The driving video, maybe I'll try to keep more focused on what the procedure is and you know what, what to expect, what you go through. And and all these other uh, adventures that surrounded it, all these other hurdles and obstacles, uh, maybe I'll make that as a separate video or maybe it'll just be in coffee time. I don't know yet. Uh, the medical exam was actually quite interesting and not so easy. There's four parts to it. You've got a um, vision part, which I'm fine near sight but farsight i need my glasses i haven't had a prescription for this in seven years but the reason i haven't is because everything is still like the day i got it i get no headaches i i have no problems i can see fine and so i just never bothered to go get checked i mean if everything's perfect then why bother so i go in and because of that i'm kind of having some doubts well, their vision test was quite involved. You don't just, you know, read the line here and there, but you got all kinds of uh, 
you do a color blindness test and you've got a perspective test and there's there was a lot to it but i passed it no problem but of course i need to wear glasses i've got a glass rider on my u.s license also you also do a reaction test and that was quite interesting uh, you've got a reaction coordination uh, some of it actually reminded me uh, i used to be a, a private pilot and some of the tests reminded me of some of the things that you do for your uh, flight exam uh, so that was all interesting and there was a possible glitch go in you do a medical and you know they check your height and weight and all the, that kind of stuff and my blood pressure was borderline now my blood pressure has historically been good and i think there was probably a reason it was kind of high of what led me up to getting to the office i had to return for that medical exam and i was kind of rushing around and you know and it's like well, go right in and do it uh, but in any case you tested it and i was borderline now what was interesting to me and i don't know what borderline is but uh, because I, I didn't ask. I, I, it didn't matter because he passed me. But he said that if it were much higher, whatever that means, he actually spoke a little English, but we use Spanish. Uh, he said if it was much higher, that I could not get a license. So that's something to consider. If you have high blood pressure um, over, over the norm, then you can't get a license here. What you would have to do is go see a doctor, get some medication to, you know, drop your blood pressure down. They don't permit you to have a license with high blood pressure. I uh, explained it that you could be driving and have a stroke or have a heart attack. And, you know, and it's, of course, we can argue the case that that can happen without high blood pressure, but it doesn't matter. The, the laws are what they are. Uh, so that was, you know, that was interesting. And, you know, as long as I pass, doesn't matter. Uh, so what else happened? Uh, yesterday, uh, guests arrived. Now, these guests were not uh, gringo guests. These these are, well, it's a friend and her daughter that I've known for over five years. Maybe getting closer to six years. I, I don't know, at least five years. And we met in Cuenca. And they recently moved back to Cali, Colombia, where they're from. So she and her daughter lived five years in Cuenca, hated it, absolutely hated it. It took her time to be able to make the move back and, you know, set things up so that when she got here that she you know, would have an income. Uh, so they asked if they could come visit me. And uh, yeah, I haven't seen them in a long time. If you would go back to some of the Cuenca videos, you see them in a couple of them where we're out walking around. One time I had a barbecue at my house and they were part of the crowd of people that was, you know, eating these big pork ribs. And yeah, um, some of you may remember that. Uh, so they actually uh, came yesterday, late afternoon, early evening. What time was it? I think it was about nine o'clock, come to think of it. And uh, came and they hadn't seen them. But now the daughter, who's now 14, is almost as tall as I am. I mean, she's grown at least a head, <laughs> which was really surprising. But it also, you know, I've been away from Ecuador for about three years now. Um, so, I, you know, that happens around that age. But, um, of course, I had to make uh, playing basketball jokes and how's the weather and all of that. Um, now, her daughter speaks a bit of English. Her mother would be very shy. She's already said she's not interested. Uh, it killed her to be in a couple videos in the background uh, back in Cuenca, but that was with crowds of people. Um, one time out on the street, but stop, stop. Uh, so she won't be interested in coming on in coffee time. But her daughter might. She speaks a little bit of English. And so I'll ask her, but, you know, it's like she's 14. I don't want you guys to... Well, you guys actually are very, uh, the people that tune in live are fine, very polite, very respectful. It's some of the people that watch the videos after the fact that send some pretty horrendous comments and I end up having to block them and delete the comments. And uh, so, you know, there's protection. She won't be exposed to it. So if she's interested, I'll invite her to, you know, sit in on the coffee time. That was most of what happened this week. There's a few other things. I've got some updates on the car, some things like that. But um, 
I want this to go on forever. So that's your update for the week. I will see you. Well, you'll probably see my personal video uh, next and then coffee time. So I'll see you in coffee time anyway. Ciao.